The role that diplomacy has played in our nation's entire history has never been embodied in a museum anywhere. These are all stories of people who have made a difference. And now for the first time, more Americans will have a chance to know what I know so well, and that is the courage and the leadership and the accomplishments of America's diplomats. The United States Diplomacy Center will be a place where people can come and experience the history and the incredibly varied world of American diplomacy. The Department of State already receives over 150,000 visitors a year. We will be publicly accessible, and it is at the center of one of the richest cultural areas in Washington, D.C. The existing configuration and massing of the existing building with the two open arms creates already a welcoming gesture. We wanted to complement this experience by introducing this welcoming glass pavilion to invite people into the State Department. Diplomacy for me is, is, is just that, it's connecting with other people. I believe in the democratic ideals of this country and what we're trying to, what we're trying to be, and I think what we're trying to do in the world. The reason that I thought that the whole center was going to be so important is in order to have the visitors really understand the relevance to their lives of other Americans who are dedicating their lives to helping them. We have so many dedicated foreign service officers. The career diplomatic service of the United States is one of the true treasures of the United States. There's a reason the State Department's the number one cabinet department. But I just hope more and more young people will do it because it's a real asset to this country, the, the career foreign service that we have. And they're the ones that are in unsung front lines every day, uh, doing things which defines where America stands and what America can achieve. They are doing what their country needs them to do. And a lot of times, Americans may not know that. And part of that story uh, will be told in the Diplomacy Center. The exchange of gifts, which is as old as diplomacy, going back far before even the birth of our own country, is a show of respect, it's a show of connection, it's a show of common interests and values. Something like this uh, really exemplifies that. Gifts to the secretaries can also reflect a lighter side of the world of diplomacy. A bottle of vodka in the shape of a, of a Russian assault rifle given to me by then Foreign Minister Igor Ivanov. Well, there is a rule in the State Department, a very unreasonable rule, I think, that if something is valued at uh, over a certain amount, you don't keep it, it becomes the property of the United States government. And uh, somebody decided somewhere in the State Department, before I could intercept this line of reasoning, that this bottle of vodka was too valuable for me to take home and uh, use for whatever purpose I might choose to use it. Medicinal, of course. I want visitors to the Diplomacy Center to appreciate the central role that diplomats have played in building the America that we love and cherish, of standing up for our values, of undertaking dangerous and difficult assignments, of forging peace, of averting war, of furthering the values that we hold dear. The U.S. Diplomacy Center is a public-private partnership and we are hoping that people will contribute and that the private sector will be a full partner with us in the building and operating of the center. But I think also we're looking for uh, people to be excited and interested about what this means. I would like people to leave saying, wow, I never knew how important American diplomacy has been to our country and never realized what amazing people have helped this nation become the nation it is today. And what adventures these folks have had.